Good morning. It's day 19. My friend Tina just dropped me off at Davenport Gap where I left off and I'm hiking north again. Standing Bear Farm is in like two and a half miles. I might pop in there and see what they have in the way of resupply items because I think the only thing I really need, I actually don't really need anything until Hot Springs. Hot Springs, I will hopefully get there in a couple of days. It's like 35-ish miles to Hot Springs and I'm just hoping to get there by Friday. Today's Wednesday. Saturday at the latest. And I packed out some McDonald's uh, double cheeseburgers. So I have plenty of food. And I have enough coffee through Sunday. So yeah. Anyway, we'll see where the day takes us. Uh, there's a lot more camping and shelter options now that I'm out of the Smokies. Lots more stealth camping, tent sites, and shelters. Okay, let's go hike it. So I have approximately 10 days left on the trail and I feel pretty confident that I can walk at least eight hours a day. <clears throat> sometimes 10. Well, my days might be 10 hours altogether, but you know, with breaks and stuff, I'm walking anywhere from eight to nine hours. And I am gonna make uh, Irwin my stopping point. Maybe I'll get there in 10 days, maybe I'll get there sooner. But with Irwin being my stopping point, that puts the trip around 278 miles. Um, I just think it's a good place to jump off because it's close to an airport to fly home. And yeah, so I know I'm capable now, for sure, um, to walk more than 10 miles a day. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty strong after being on the trail almost three weeks. I'm sure I could have hiked more miles every day in the Smokies already but the camping in the Smokies is very restricted you have to stay at designated campsites and so a lot of the shelters are pretty close together like six eight ten miles from each other and you know that just makes it very limited for the distance you can walk like The one, the one spot, if I would have kept going, it would have been 20 miles, and I don't think I was up for 20 miles, but I'm pretty sure I could handle 13 to 15 miles. So we'll see how today goes. And we've hit the power line, so, and the blazing sun. It's gonna be in the 80s today. There's a heat wave coming in May.
it's the Pigeon River. There's I-40. And look at that. I don't know if anybody ever talks about this. The tall staircase. Oh, it doesn't look that tall. 37 steps. And they were tall. Look at the cute flowers. Okay, that's too high to go over and too low to go under with a pack on. That's not cool. Made it. I'm gonna go check out Standing Bear because I wouldn't mind a cool beverage maybe or an extra candy bar. I think I don't have enough candy bars. Super cute. Hello. Um, I don't think you could resupply here, really. Unless you want to carry really heavy stuff. But it's an icon. Look how cute it is. It's very cute. Place the tent up there. That was a cute little quirky hostel. And the other thing to note now is I am done with the Springer Mountain to Standing Bear Farm section of the Far Out app. Now I gotta load the next section which is Standing Bear Farm to Damascus, Virginia. I'm not going to Damascus, Virginia. Not this year. Unless I go in the fall, but no, I think I will plan to do this again next year in the month of May. Do another just lash the rest of the AT because it's not so bad doing a lash. Going up, it's a pretty big blow down. I was way up there yesterday. This is Snowbird Peak, and this sombrero looking thing is actually part of air traffic control. Helps guide planes. And I learned about this from Swiss Miss from Jay's on the Trail, because she flies small aircraft. That is enormous. Home for the night. I think it's going to be a nice evening. Hopefully that tree doesn't blow over in the wind. 
And if it does, hopefully it blows the other way. This is the end of day 19. Um, I think I hiked 2.6 plus 7, 9.8 trail miles, but I hiked 10.8 miles altogether. You guys, it was a four mile climb again today out of Davenport Gap. And I did not sleep well last night, so I tired. And I'm trying to survive out here for nine more days and get where I get. So I've just got to take my time and be okay with that. It's a little discouraging because some days I'm really, I can go a lot further, but I think I'm still tired from the Smokies. And it's okay, because I'm just trying to persevere for 28 days. And this is day 19. Right, okay. <laughs> That's Brandon, I think, or Brendan. He's also doing a section hike. It's hard, it's hard, y'all, but I feel a little rejuvenated because there's lots of people here. I forget the name of this shelter. Some creek. Oh, Gopher Creek or some animal. <laughs> right, okay. See you tomorrow.